Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a school morning routine video for you. It's actually the children's first day back to school today. So I thought I would film it because I've had a lot of requests for an updated version of this video. So if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. I hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do loads of routine videos, day in the life, shop with me, hauls, be cleans, all that good stuff. You're gonna love it. Now let's take a look at our morning. I wake up before the rest of the family and start by pinning my hair out of my face with one of these hair grips, bobby pins, whatever you call them. What do you call them? Let me know in the comments. I then wash my face with just water on one of these cheeky wipes, which are basically little flannels. They're actually reusable baby wipes, but I just use water on them. I use them to take my makeup off in the night and then wash my face again in the morning. My skin's quite dry. I feel like it needs sort of a little exfoliate before I put any moisturizer or makeup or anything like that on. And these cheeky wipes are brilliant. You can soak these with a few drops of lavender essential oil, but just plain water works great too. I then use a dry wipe, so this is just exactly the same thing, but it's dry, to dry my face. Um, but then I moisturize with this Nivea Daily Essentials. It's got a little SPF in it, so it's good whether it's summer or winter or whatever. I've got really dry skin and I find this works really well for me. Then I move on to a little bit of MAC strobe cream, just to kind of give me like a fake glow, which I feel like I need when I look a bit tired. Uh, you will notice that this makeup routine is way more cut down than the last one I did. I will link in the comments now. Um, so I'm just using, after the strobe cream, a little bit of concealer, this kind of peachy color under my eyes to kind of conceal dark circles. And then the other color, which is the sort of more yellowy color, I kind of pinpoint conceal. I've got some like, serious spots going on at the moment. And then I just put a little bit around my nose with my fingers. So in this makeup routine, it's very, very minimal, very, very basic. I'm just using this one brush and my fingers. Um, so it's super, super quick. And then I use the powder, which also comes in the concealer, just to sort of do around my nose. Then I've got this MAC um, lip and cheek colour. Again, I'm just popping this on with my fingers, like a tiny bit, just to kind of give myself a little bit of colour in my cheeks. Um, and this uh, also goes on my lips too. It's like a lipstick and cheek thing in one, super easy and quick. And then MAC again for this cream colour base in the colour shell, which is an eyeshadow slash highlighter in one. And that is literally all I'm doing for makeup at the moment. That is it um because i've got sort of uh, lash extensions on at the moment so i'm not wearing any mascara i'm just combing my eyelashes with this brush and that is it i put all those bits in one of these little clear pencil cases and that um lives in my bag so if i don't have time to do that in the morning or can't afford to get up early enough i can do that in the car on the go whatever it's just super quick and easy then I reach for my GHDs, which I always use with this kind of heat proof matte thing, not to burn holes in my dressing table. And um, I normally need to straighten my hair, but it needs a massive straighten at the moment. Oh, by the way, what do you call those things? Those grippy hair crocodile things? Don't know what they're called either. Let me know in the comments. Um, so I section off my hair and I uh, straighten it all out. Like I said, I washed it last night and went to bed with it slightly damp because I'm far too lazy to blow dry it. So um, it needs a proper sort of going over the straightness today because it's kind of a little huge and wild looking. Um, so I just straighten it in three sections. I do the lower section, then the mid section, and then the top section. And that stays reasonably nice all day. And then it like the following morning will need a little bit of a straighten, but not too much uh, not nearly so much as when I've just washed it and it's all super wild then I get dressed I do put my clothes out the night before including underwear so I've literally got to put my clothes on I don't have to think about what to wear morning baby girl what's today school. big yeah. school day big school day you're going into reception aren't you big girl you been for wee wee yeah yeah come on let's go and get you dressed there, the mummy's got all your clothes here. I do like to put all of her clothes on one hanger, do that on the weekend, every outfit, and in here we've got her knickers, socks, hair accessories, all of it. So she just needs to put on everything on that hanger and bring me the bits so I can do her hair. And let's go and see if Zara wants to wake up. Sometimes she's very keen to get up and at the time she's really not good. So 
for that. That's the big one's pretty back to school today. For that. Do you want to get up? You don't want to sleep on pillows then, just down this end. That's okay. Do you want me to get you up and take your nappy off to the toilet? now? See if you want to wee wee. Are you ready to get up? Or shall I come back for you? Zara? Zara? Zaza? Zaza? <laughs> Not quite ready. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. Okay? No? Let me get you up now? Yeah? Come on then. Big light on. I have put the big light on. Come on, let me take you to the toilet. Um, I want to go to the toilet. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Well, it can stay on now because it's morning time, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, baby? Yeah. Good girl. While Zara is having her nappy taken off and going to the toilet, the big ones dress themselves and then I do Bella's hair. She's got plaits today, she always has her hair back for school, I just think she's less likely to get knits that way. And then I dress Zara and do her hair. Before we go down for yeah. breakfast, I'm just going to have a quick spritz on Mommy, can I spritz? my favourite perfume. <laughs> but you, the girls, like this, don't you? Yeah. What do you call this? Spray on neck. Spray on neck. Do you want spray on neck then? Come on then. Ready? And you? And you? <laughs> now you all smell like mummy. Yeah. <laughs> They're so funny. And then I always wear the same, same necklace I never take off, which has got the children's Names Why you and take that it's got your name. Off? It's got your names and things on it. It's got the children's name and my Mommy, husband's name on there. Why do you never take this necklace off? Because it's got your precious names on it. Oh. And then I've got a bracelet with my initials Is it on it. You don't want to lose your precious thing. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. then I have. I also wear my Pandora bracelet, which has had charms for me over the years, um, which I cannot put on with one hand. At 7am we go downstairs and alarm goes off to remind us it's time to go for breakfast. It just helps keep us all on track so that we are not running late. Uh, then the children sit at the table, they have cereal and fruit. Bella wears a long sleeve bib over her uniform because she's quite messy and Zara has a bibadoo over her clothing because she's really really messy and that covers everything and stops her getting super mucky um, even if she decides to throw juice in her lap which she quite frequently does. So while they're eating their cereal I chop up some fruit and today they are having strawberries. Um, I always chop them up into little pieces and pop them in a bowl in the middle of the table because they just prefer to eat them this way. On a normal day, I would actually put on washing at this stage as well, but being the first day of school, I've got another couple of bits to check over. Um, I'm not actually doing laundry this morning, which is really rare for me. So the children are just eating their breakfast, and while they're doing that, I'm just gonna have a little wipe round of the surfaces, um, just because they sort of need doing, um, popping the remaining bits of the strawberries, the heads of the strawberries down the waste disposal unit. Um, I use Zoflora in diluted, one capsule full of Zoflora in this bottle, dilute it to spray the surfaces which uh, disinfects them and makes them smell pretty amazing. Then when the children have finished their breakfast they use a cheeky wipe. These are ones that I store in the kitchen damp with a little bit of that lavender essential oil in there so they smell really nice as well um, and they are just a really good way to get any grime off their faces like strawberry and other gunge that may have found its way there. Um, so even though we're not actually using nappies anymore the cheeky wipes are still getting used loads and loads. They then clean their teeth downstairs, it's much easier than trips than back upstairs, they have separate toothbrushes upstairs and downstairs and on school days where they have eaten their breakfast they clean their teeth downstairs and then another wipe to wipe all the toothpaste off their faces, the boys aren't too bad but the girls end up with toothpaste everywhere, is that just my children or your children end up with toothpaste just everywhere. 
It's just a couple of minutes left before I have to get everyone's shoes on things. So I'm making a couple of beds just so that the rooms look nice and tidy. Then it is time for the children to get all their things out. So all their shoes are kept on like shelves in the downstairs loo so they can fetch their own shoes. They can fetch their own school bags from this school bag kind of backpack station thing that we've got by the front door where everything is packed in there the night before ready to go. Um, and today because it's the first day back to school they also have their PE kit which they have to take in. The PE kit goes into school and it lives in school to up until half term. Uh, so that needs to be taken in today. So this one is William's PE kit and in this bag it's Bella's wet weather gear because she's in the infants and they go off and do forest school a lot more frequently. So they also have to get drinks. They each have to take, even though they're having school dinners, they don't have packed lunches, they have to take a drink each of water. These bottles I keep in the fridge. They come from the dishwasher, they get filled with tap water and they get put in the fridge and the children can fetch their own drink. They uh, can drink these while they're in the house and they can put them in their own bags to take to school. William is going into the juniors now. In the infants we just pay for their fruit and they provide it, but in the juniors you have to take your own fruit. So I am putting, um, William's banana into a clean wet bag because if it smushes all over his bag that'll be disgusting won't it so he's going to take it in that every day and that way it's still not kind of using loads of plastic bags that we're throwing away and things it's um but it's keeping it from smushing everywhere now the weather's still quite warm so it's not really worth doing you know, like full-on coats for the little ones so I'm just popping their packer max into their bags and let's hope they don't need them because the weather will be glorious. You may have noticed that I haven't had time to eat breakfast so I am popping one of these in my bag. This is what I normally end up doing on a school run morning. These are meal replacement bars and this one is my favorite, it's the um, caramel crunch. And when I haven't had time to eat, this is a really good alternative. I can eat it in the car. So I'm just chucking one of those in my bag. I also always pack a, um, a chili bottle, which I fill with sugar free squash because I'm like to drink it in the water. So I'm popping that in my bag too. The children have all got drinks in their bags for school, and Zara's got one for um, just if we're going anywhere afterwards. Next job, Zara, we've got to put on your car knickers, haven't we? Zara is only recently potty trained. Um, I don't know if you caught my potty training vlog and my potty training on the go um, as well. But basically, she's still, she's doing really well. But we're gonna be stuck in the car for quite a while. So we have got some kind of Uber pants, haven't we? We've got some Uber pants. We're gonna put those over your knickers just in case of an incident. If you caught my backpack organization video, you will have seen that I like to attach one of these little popper folders to their bags with a carabiner for putting notes to them back and forth from the teachers, which is far more likely to see anything that's in there. And you might actually remember to hand things in if I put them in there. And anything that's kind of extra or out of the ordinary that we might need to put in the car the following day, I like to hang on the door so we just cannot leave without it. So in there, I've restocked Zara's um, travel potty inserts and things. That's all her potty training on the go kit. We've got our Packamax and things for myself and Zara. They all live in the car. They normally stay in the car, uh, but I need to take those out now. Then it is time to load everyone into the car and that is our school morning routine up until the point we leave for school. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you wanna catch my latest video, it's just over here. And if you want to catch more routine videos, they are just down here. I'll see you guys soon.